Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw a stitch. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to color with. Something to color with. Let's start. Okay. We're first gonna draw the shape of Stitch's head right in the middle of our paper. We're gonna draw a big upside down U. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his head. We're gonna draw a little curve for his cheek over here, but look, this curve is flat. It's more flat than um, like a U shape. It comes across, it's not straight. It's got a little curve. There we go, good job. Now let's draw his nose. We're gonna draw a big nose right in the middle of his head. We're gonna draw a U shape, kind of looks like a V though. There's a little point at the bottom. Yeah, then at the top, let's draw a curve to finish his nose. We could also draw little nostrils down at the bottom on each side. They just barely, you could barely see them on each side. Now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw a big circle over here on the left and a big circle over here on the right. <laughs> yeah. And now we can also draw a little circle in the top of each of his eyes. This is to make his eyes look shiny. Highlight. A highlight, yeah. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave those little circles white. Next, let's draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a little curve that looks like he's frowning right in the middle. But don't go too far to the, yeah, just kind of a short curve in the middle. We're gonna make him look like he's smiling. And then right at the end, on each side, we're gonna curve back up. Curves back up right at the end. And we'll do the same thing over here. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. There we go. Now he looks happy. And then we can give him little cheek lines on each side. Yeah, let's also give him two little wrinkles, a small one, and then an even smaller one above it. This one may be a little bigger. There we go. Yeah. Now we could also give him eyebrows. Let's draw an upside down U over the left eye and then also over the right eye. And the eyebrows connect to the outside shape. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw my favorite part, his ears. We're gonna start right here next to his cheek. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes up. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the right side. Big curve coming up. Then for the top of his ear, we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. Then we're gonna draw a sideways V. There's like a little notch taken out of his ear. Kind of like a little cut or something. Yeah, almost like he got bit by an, <laughs> another animal or alien. Now we're gonna draw the rest of his ear coming down and connecting into his cheek. Yeah, let's repeat that same step over here for his other ear. We're gonna draw the top of his ear upside down U. On this side, we're gonna draw his ear coming down further, like we're gonna connect it into his cheek, just like we did over here. But then we're gonna draw a upside down V. So same kind of thing, but it's down here lower. Then we're gonna connect it into his cheek. All right, now let's make his ears look more 3D. We're gonna start up here on top of his ear. We're gonna trace, come down a little further like that, and then connect it in. Then let's do the same thing on the outside of his ear. We'll trace it down a little ways and then connect it in. Yeah, good job. Let's do that same step over here on the right side. We'll start up here, trace down, and then come lower on his cheek. And then we don't have very much room over here to trace, we'll just connect it back up. Now let's add one more thing to his head, and that's the little hair sticking out of the top of his head. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line, and then we can draw a little zigzag coming down and connecting to his head. All right, Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing his head. Now let's draw his the rest of his body and also his arms. We'll start here next to his chin and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. We'll do another one over here on this side. 
<laughs> then we're gonna draw a big raindrop shape. We're gonna come down, curve around, and then back up. Yes. Oh, perfect. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side for his other arm. We're gonna come down, around, and we can kind of touch if we want, and then come back up. He kind of looks like a stuffed animal. Yeah, <laughs> kind of does. Now let's add his little claws sticking out. We're going to draw three curved V's sticking out the bottom for his hand, each hand. Two, three. There we go. We could also add a little zigzag for the fur on his chest. And then we can also draw the bottom of his body in between his two arms down here. Yeah. All right, now he's sitting down, so let's draw his back legs. We'll draw a curve right here. We're gonna come out, curve around, and then back in. Let's do the same thing over here. That looks like the letter C. Let's do a backward C over here. Out, around, and then connect back in. <laughs> now let's add his little toes. I'm gonna draw four little claws sticking out. And we'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four. Then let's draw a smaller circle inside of each foot for his paw, the bottom of his paw. And then we could also draw his knees. We're gonna draw a little bump right here and also a little bump over here. We did it, Helly, we finished drawing Stitch. He looks really cool, except he's gonna look even cooler once we do what? Color him. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward again, but you guys can pause the video at the end to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah, I yeah. am. Helly, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Stitch. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We used markers, but you guys could use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. Now we use three different types of blue. We use a dark blue for his... Nose and claws. Nose and claws, yeah. And we use a medium blue, a regular blue for his body, and a light blue for his eyes, and also underneath his mouth, mm -hmm. and for his... Chest. His chest and belly. Now we also added a few extra things. We added a tongue. I drew mine going down and you drew yours going up. <laughs> and we also drew one little line that connects his nose to his mouth. Now it's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? They both turned out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. practice. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.